Hello, good day today. I'll show you how to remove antivirus solution from, which is a rogue antivirus. The machine has it. Uh, it's a virtual machine, and uh, I'll show you how to remove it. Uh, this uh, robot doesn't allow uh, the executor to execute. Just says cannot execute. But I'll show you how to get rid of this. And, uh, what you have to do is click to click on start, click turn on computer, and click restart. Now let it reboot. And wait for it. And now here, as soon as you see this bias thing, it start having the FA until this screen comes up. And with your with the arrow keys, go to safe mode with networking and press enter. Press enter again. And you will see a list of things being loaded with your drivers actually. Just to speak more professional. And uh, just wait for it. It's gonna be a little bit slow because it's loading safe mode. It's not working. And wait for it. Now it's down to the screen, select your user account. Now here, click yes. Let me pause for a second. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see, we are in safe mode with networking, and your solution problem is not started, which allows us to execute files on them. So, what you want to do is go to start and open up Internet Explorer. And wait for it, let's see. A bit uh, doesn't seem to be connected to the Internet. Let's see here what's going on. I can't help you. I just safe mode with my working up. Should be connected. Let's just take a look on the control panel. So, uh, and let's, oh, here's a useful thing to do if this comes up to you. In the tools, internet options, connections, LAM settings, and type those. Because some routes might not do process And then give start, run. Yeah, you see? By the film, the proper server that the rogue was set, I'm an able to access the internet again. Now you need to go to malware-dash.org. Uh, this is malware-dash website. And you want to upload the free version. I already have done that, and it's here. The link, the link to the malware-dash download will be in the description for the second time, okay? Then you need to run malware-dash anti-malware. And wait for it. it should come out quite quick. This server from the same so uh, things will be slower than normal. Because it's like building an operating system from an operating system. Anyway, here's my robot something over. Go to the update tab right here and click check for updates. Because you want to have the latest databases and version of malware by something malware in order to make sure that you detect this uh, and you remove it completely. So now wait for it. Well, it's updating. It's pretty fast. I mean, it's five megabytes, nothing. Okay. So wait for it. And 
and I'm gonna say that malware match is free of our certain spyware and where worms it, it's just a enchanting malware, their moves, viruses, spyware, adware, Jordan ski logos, everything. Yeah, it's, it doesn't contain any of them, of course. And uh, it's a pretty good problem. Anyway, now let's go back to the scanner down here. To like uh, perform a quick scan and click the, the, the big scan button. Now let it scan. Um, because it will take some time, I'll just pause the video and come back after the scan has finished. See you. Okay, guys. This time it's just finished. I'll click OK. And here's my badge. Found seven infected objects. So I'll just click so show. And here I'll found the same. There's blah blah blah. Some downloads. Some agents. So I'll hear this. So we'll click remove, select it, and we we will close this, and we will review, and we will check if if antivir solution pro has been removed. So let's see. That's your mother advice. I Okay. Here we go. The machine is building up. It's starting up. Okay. And you will be able to see that we have no more of the universe losing from. Yeah. It's gonna be removed just like because malware bytes just detect something wrong and just gets rid of That's simple. Okay. Okay, so we will wait for the machine to load completely. Just so that there is no more of antivirus solution problem. Okay, secure center. Now that the connections all loaded. Okay, so as you can see, there is no more universal Zebra. Didn't start up here or anything because it was removed from the system. If I try to go here, you see there is nothing in the system about that unless this folder, which is mine, which I have installed right here. Don't get confused. Anyway. That was my video on how to remove anti-virus solution problem. Thanks for watching. Bye.